All right, what up guys? So today is finally the long awaited, the pumps, my choice, best pump rates of 2015. And so basically what we're gonna talk about today are the best palm rates up until now. Not necessarily like palm rates that were released this year, but just any sort of product that, all of them that I've looked up until now. And so we're finally gonna make, not necessarily a one to 10 list, but just a compilation list of what are the best pro products in each category. So the first palm rate I wanna talk about, or the first winner is, of course, Old Dude's Water Base for most innovative pomade. Because this pomade right here is responsible for this entire huge wave of water-based like, pomades we've seen up until now. Like before this product, all we've really seen were like gel pomades, like water-based pomades that just dried and were just like basically hardened up like a gel. But this baby right here, I still remember like Clayton showing this thing to me, this little can of it when we were creating the pomade and he was just like, look, I just created a water-based pomade. I was just like, whatever, like no big deal. But once it released, it hit big, it was amazing. And like literally, this is by far the most innovative pomade. And so for best water-based pomade now, I've chosen Sheer Revival Crystal Lake. Up until this point of this product, water-based pomades had this like strange consistency to them. They never really mimicked all base pomades perfectly well, or at least the first variation of Old Dude's water base had like a uniqueness to it. Cause what we really want is a water base that replicates an oil base. And this one is like perfectly replicates a medium to lightweight oil based pomade and washes completely out. Performance is spectacular for those of us who have the hair that can accommodate it. And so, Best water-based pomade of 2015, my choice is Sheer Revival Crystal Lake. For the best gel pomade, I have to choose, of course, Railcar Fine Goods Supreme Hold Pomade. I mean, with gel pomades, we don't really ever expect any sort of crazy performance, anything to really change. They all really perform along the same lines. And so what we want is like a legit, just a good, like die hard, like beautifully presented and also awesome smelling pomade. And this is the one like this one doesn't dry your hair too much. It gives you solid hold, yet not too hold that it's just like thick and clunky in your hair. It's still like a good, nice and balanced hold with the best smell we've ever, like the closest we've ever gotten to a true cologne smell in any sort of like gel pomade. So my choice for best gel pomade has to be Real Car Fine Goods Supreme Hold Pomade. And so now, of course, back to the tradition, the best oil base. I have to say it is still Lockhart's Goon Grease. Like straight up, I mean, all bases have been around and then people are still always making them. I mean, they're the most accessible or most reasonable to make. The process isn't as complicated as other like water-based pomades. And it's also, there's already a bunch of reputable sources provided to you. Yet no one has still really knocked the Lockhart's authentic line, like the, the label off their like throne as king of oil-based pomades. It's just they've been unbelievably consistent, they're always available, and the products never fail. I mean, Goon Grease was the best heavy like oil-based pomade I've ever used, and it's just consistent and pliable, still works well. Nothing crazy, but just solid consistency. And so, best oil-based pomade, definitely Lockhart's Goon Grease. Now, lucky for them, I also chose the Lockhart's Professional Matte Clay. And this is what I perceive to be the best clay pomade because basically this thing's affordable, gives you a lot of product and also performs like on par with Baxter clay pomade, which is probably the next runner up of like great products in terms of clay pomades. So this one is basically unlike Lockhart's Authentic, this is actually lab cooked. But the thing is like this is still formulated by Steve and then like passed on to the lab to create on a larger scale. And so this product right here gives you like awesome volume, a really nice balance between slickness and texture. So you can actually go either way. You can go with a nice like form clean pump, or you can actually go for a really nice texture pump and it like lasts the entire day. Like it's a strong hold product. It's a pretty dense and like, it will give you a lot of volume. So if all the clay pomades we've seen, like this has been the choice. Performance cost wise, and also the smell is awesome. So 
for best clay pomade, we've already seen just like a handful and we're hoping to look for more. But for right now, in this video, at this point in time, Lockhart's Professional Matte Clay would be our best clay pomade. Now, this one is arguable by a lot of people, but for my choice, I consider the Mailroom Barber's Node Forest Pomade in collaboration with Cody the best smelling pomade. It's not necessarily my 100% like favorite smell, but out of all the products that have kind of gone for a scent, this is, I've never really seen anyone get it this like extremely like on point. I mean, a bunch of products have always like basically gone for this like forest nature type of smell, but like with this collab, they just like got it on point. Like it's not just the pine needle scent, but it's also like the aura, the whole feel of like a kind of musty, a wet, a fresh like forest. Cause everyone gets this like really like artificial version of, of like a forest, but this one's like on point. It's the closest one I've seen. So I really want to like kind of acknowledge that for them. Cause that's like pretty fucking sweet. And so best smelling pomade of 2015 has to go to Node Forest for me. Now, I also want to create this category because actually all we looked at were basically domestic um, products. And what I mean by domestic is in the US since a uh, majority of um, viewers, my community, and me and myself are located within the US. So I want to create a category for best, oil, best foreign oil base, and that is the Damon Barber number two. Never before have I used a product that offered this awesome of a control. Like it's a, I call it like a medium heavy hold and like the weight is definitely on like the heavier side. Like it's a really dense and heavy oil based like pomade. Like it's really just dense in your hair. But the control you get out of it is just awesome. I mean your hair is gonna go where you want it. It's gonna be slick. You don't really have a uh, choice of making texture of it. It's gonna be slick. But it goes where you want and it stays where you want. So I want to really acknowledge the Damon Barber number two for that like accomplishment. Now for best foreign water-based pomade, and I actually wanted to kind of straddle between like water-based and gel pomade with this one, I would have to choose fiber grease or the cool grease, the yellow one. Because I mean, Japan or at least like the cool grease line is such an interesting take on what a gel pomade is. Gel pomades in the US has been like this, like just putting your hair, it locks in, dries up, but like Japanese people have put this one out for a long time and you can kind of say that for the longest time they've already been had like gel pomades and water-based pomades that didn't dry up and so this one also gives you good like volume is it really a fiber product that's arguable and stuff like that but just pure performance like this thing is awesome and so I did want to also acknowledge it for that uh, um, before we go into like the big one, which is the People's Choice Best Pomade, what you guys chose to be the best pomade of 2015, I want to go ahead and acknowledge uh, most innovative brewer, of course, Old Dudes on Natural, Clayton and Ian, over there by far. I mean, they set the standard of what a water-based pomade can be, and so by far, most innovative brewer. And also, one other thing, most uh, improved, I want to say, or most, like the quickest rise, I guess, um, Brewer would be also Zachary West from Sheer Revival. I mean, I remember when he first released uh, the One Who Knocks pomade, it was just like a pretty standard oil-based pomade, just good and stuff. But once he released Crystal Lake, boom, he's like been on the rise, creating all these crazy stuff, just like next level, making good stuff. And so that huge improvement, I mean, I also want to acknowledge that. That's just like on point. And of course, so last, what you guys chose to be the best pomade. I mean, we got like almost a thousand votes in and stuff like that. And dang, a lot of people tried to cheat too, but I mean, it's pretty, it doesn't really matter. There's a thousand votes you, unless you're going to sit there for 30 minutes. But the best pomade, as you guys have voted, is Sheer Revival Crystal Lake. I mean, I guess it gets two rewards. I mean, you guys chose it. The best pomade by your guys' choice, by just the audience here, was Crystal Lake. The next runner up was actually Old Dude's Water Base. It's a close run, the base pomade as well, but we're not including my collabs in this. Um, so yeah, what well, you guys chose to be the best pomade, and I mean, yo, know, I agree with you guys. Sheer Revival Crystal Lake. So, yeah, uh, yeah, 
So those are what I perceive to be the best pomades of 2015 in each of their respective categories. I also want to thank um, hedgelion.com, palmmates.com, and palmmateclub.com for basically sponsoring this video. Like, I mean, we've been working with them for like a while now, just basically helping us like expose ourselves to different products, but like, I mean, they helped us create this video, so I also want to pay homage to that. And also, yeah, you'll find a link at the bottom to all the products or, or a written version of it, but other than that, hope you guys are now satisfied, and next year we'll create another video like this, and that is it. So, thank you, Base Pump, and peace out, guys.